Gemini, welcome to your mid-May general reading. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful May so far. I'm recording your reading on the full moon, uh, which is in the sign of Scorpio today, and then I'll be releasing all the forecasts together uh, next week, which will be uh, good because they'll all be out at the same time. I hope you guys have all been doing well. Um, I've been trying to make a concerted, concerted effort to get all the readings out on time this month. So thank you so much for your patience. Um, I'm going in order of astrological sign, starting with Taurus and then moving throughout through the order. So uh, we'll end up with Aries at the end. Uh, so hopefully that sounds good. I have chosen uh, two decks today for your reading. I'm going to be reading with a Thelema Tarot by Lo Scarabeo. Here is the, the uh, box that it came in. New deck. I'm loving it. And uh, I'm also going to be using the Wisdom of the Hidden Realms Oracle, pulling a message from that at the end of your reading. So uh, with, as with all my readings, uh, this reading will cover the energies of the past, present, and future. The present being the moment that you view the reading. And I am reading for all Gemini suns, moons, risings, and those on the cusp. So if that sounds good. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, the cards are all sorted and ready to go. And Spirit, what are the messages and energies that you have for the sign of Gemini this month for their mid-month reading for the month of May 2017? This is for all my Gemini suns, moons and risings, and those on the cusp. What do they need to know, Spirit? What are the major, major energies and messages surrounding the sign of Gemini for the month of May 2017? starting with your recent past. We have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. The Hangman. The Five of Swords. Excuse me. The Five of Swords. The Hermit in reverse. Going into your present situation, I have the Six of Cups. The Eight of Cups. Judgment in reverse. Queen of Wands in reverse, and she's coming up with death in reverse. How do you see yourself? You have the devil in reverse, the high priestess in reverse, the tower in reverse, and the four of cups in reverse. Your outcome for the month of May is the Hierophant in reverse, and at the bottom of the deck we have the lovers. That's your card, Gemini. Beautiful. All right, so some of you are, this is soulmate energy. Some of you have a head or heart decision. And some of you are thinking very much about a soulmate. This could also be a very big decision. I feel that this is a union that is blessed. All right, I also feel very much, Gemini, that you are coming into your own whether you believe it or not, you are coming into your own element. All right, I do see you um, fighting for someone or fighting for something, standing up for something. Okay, let's proceed here. Hopefully you can see all the cards. Uh, I'll back it up just a bit. Sorry for the lines. You know, the lighting isn't perfect here. This is something that I will be hoping to uh, improve this year. But we're just going to do the best that we can. Does it help if I turn off this light? Not really. Okay, well let's go. Uh, and probably if I put up like a canvas or something, that would help. We'll figure it out. So in your past, I have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, the Hangman, the Five of Swords, and the Hermit in reverse. 
Okay, you've got the, the hangman in your past as a major arcana. Um, just being with the feeling. Feeling it all, Gemini. You're feeling it all. And uh, it is a beautiful card. It talks about sacrifice. Uh, the sacrifice is uh, you. You are the sacrifice, Gemini. You are the one being sacrificed. You are the one being put on hold. You're the one that's waiting. Waiting for the ball to drop. Now, in this deck, there's a snake holding the uh, hangman to a tree. And, uh, you know, snakes are interesting symbols. I often do think of the one uh, in the Garden of Eden that tempted uh, Adam to eat the apple in a more biblical uh, sense. But I feel like in this situation, uh, you may have been recovering from some kind of uh, financial loss, the loss of a long-term relationship or affair, or someone that you had a great affinity towards, an auspicious partnership. I feel like that something happened the, I've, I'm getting security lost in a relationship or even long-term security. It could be that you had to pay out a lot of money recently. And you just kind of have to wait until uh, things clear up. And this is a period of incubation. All right, the hangman is a place where you can just sit with it all and experience all the feelings and uh, observe Observe what is happening in your life, Gemini. Observe what is happening, but perhaps not taking action, either because you can't or you won't or you are uh, unable to do so. Um, you also have the Five of Swords here, which is some kind of conflict energy. It's possible this is your energy because you have this, you are the Swords here. Um, I'm seeing like a conflict with someone that was in a stalemate with you and you wanting to come up come out top come up on top so it could be a verbal argument it could have been a verbal argument it could have been some other kind of one-upmanship remember with the five of swords they're really it's a it's a false it's a win it's not a real win um yeah maybe you maybe you won this one but uh is that person really gonna is there someone else there that's going to want to come back and fight again with you or maybe they'll just walk away so there's there's no real winners here um, <coughs> all of a sudden I have to sneeze so I'm getting the feeling that someone is not telling the truth okay this conflict was about someone's BS someone not telling the truth Someone very much, whenever I sneeze like that, it has to do with someone who is withholding information. That could be what this conflict is over, and you're just like, I'm, I'm going to wait this one out. My hands are tied. Now, you may be dealing with a Virgo because you have the Hermit in Reverse here, in which case, this Virgo energy, this Hermit in Reverse, talks about... Uh, Antisocial behavior, feeling lost or lonely. You could be dealing with a Virgo who's feeling very lost or lonely or has uh, quite literally shut you out of their life. And maybe they've gone back into their cave for a couple weeks. Maybe it's turning into a couple months. I feel like this person is hiding from society or they're hiding out or burying their head in the sand. They may actually be looking for some kind of guidance or illumination on their own. Um, but these two people have their back to each other. Uh, this is a major energy as well. We have the sign of Pisces and the sign of Virgo. So you could be dealing with either a Pisces or a Virgo. And then we have your air sign energy here and we have earth energy here, which is another uh, Virgo type energy. Um, so very interesting. Okay. Going into your present situation, you have the Six of Cups, the Eight of Cups, Judgment in Reverse, and the Queen of Wands in Reverse with Death in Reverse. 
Okay, so what I'm getting, Gemini, is that you have like this nostalgia around you this week. This is your present situation. You're feeling very nostalgic. It's a lovely feeling. It, it's fun memories. It's remembering the past. Kind of a romantic energy as well that I'm getting. And this might be right around or after the full moon. I feel like right around the full moon is when you would uh, continue moving on. I think that you take a moment to reflect on your past. Um, there's a lot of innocence here and beauty and childlike innocence and beauty and graciousness. And we have the Eight of Cups here, which says that though you're disappointed and though you may be feeling uh, disappointed in a situation, you continue to uh, search to move forward and to search for something that's more fulfilling. We move from the Eight of Cups, we would move into the Nine of Cups. If we really did leave these cups behind, Yes, it would be sad. Uh, yes, it could be leaving someone from the past behind to move forward. But it is saying that you are uh, not lost and you won't be lonely and you won't be forgotten because your journey is forward. You're moving forward and you want more fulfillment. Emotionally, uh, you desire more fulfillment and um, you spent your time dwelling in the past and now you're ready to move forward. So you're moving on. Uh, I'm not saying it's going to be easy. With judgment in reverse here, this is a trump. Okay, we've got three trumps already. And it's saying that you are, even though you're moving forward, there's something that you're still refusing to accept about your past. There's something that you're still very much stuck on regarding your past. Um, and it could be with regards to a fire sign energy here. Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Now I'm getting a, fe a female ener energy. Um, <clears throat> she's coming up with death in reverse. So, and it's almost like the angel in judgment is talking to the Queen of Wands here. If I turn them upright, you can see the angels talking to this fire sign energy. So there could be angelic communication happening. Maybe it's that uh, you are releasing someone from your life, but not really. Like you haven't cut the cords yet. You haven't cut the spiritual cords yet. Um, now this fire sign energy could be Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius because it's reversed. It could. Pro it's likely either a. Um, Aries or Sagittarius here with the female energy. Uh, some of you could have a fire sign in your chart. So if you have a Leo, Aries, or Sag rising or moon sign, this could be your energy. With death in reverse, I'm getting burning bridges and running away. So um, you have, you're, the, the jury is out on some decision here, but I feel like you're continuing to, to, move, to move on in, a, in, a, in an emotional sense. But from a spiritual perspective, there's things that you have yet not accepted about your contract, your soul contract. Now, this could be involving a soulmate relationship. This could be involving uh, you know, this fire sign energy here. Um, the, the, the thing that I'm getting is, is, is refusing to change and possibly being a little bit in denial here about some changes that are happening. Um, I feel like the fire sign energy is is not wanting to let go, either of you or you of them. Uh, again, it depends on uh, how you resonate, but I feel that this is a distinct, distinctively different person here, this Queen of Wands. This is likely someone that you know. No, it doesn't have to be a female energy. I'm getting a more feminine energy. It could be a male energy. If it's a male energy, then it's likely he has a lot of feminine energy around him, and that's just the way that he is. But with death in reverse, it says that he's refusing to, to change, he's refusing to give you up, and he may actually be quite literally running away from something. And that could be in terms of making a decision. Accepting the past, uh, coming out with the truth, speaking the truth, and making a final decision. I don't think it's left you feeling emotionally good. 
I think that you you have fun, you still have fond memories, but I think that maybe this judgment in reverse is saying that there's something that you have to accept about the decisions that you've made that have brought you to this point in time. In the, in the future, we have the devil in reverse, high priestess in reverse, the tower in reverse, and the four of cups in reverse. So lots of major arcanas in your reading already. We've got three in the future, uh, one, two in your present, and uh, two in your past. So quite a lot of cards here. Uh, these are powerful energies that are affecting you this month. And so Gemini, remember that when you're making decisions that um, some things are out of your control this month. And what you can do is you can decide ahead of time what it is that you want for yourself. What are your goals? What are your objectives? So that if someone else comes along and gives you uh, the runaround, you already made up your mind. Um, the devil in reverse speaks to broken agreements. Uh, it can also say that this is as bad as it's going to get in terms of some kind of addictive behavior, some kind of uh, toxic behavior. This could be a very toxic relationship or a codependent relationship where you feel enmeshed with this person. You feel very uh, uh, codependent with them. You may actually be, have physical addiction, a physical addiction to them. That's saying that this is, this is as bad as it's going to get and maybe uh, if this is a sexual relationship, I'm not saying it is, but uh, there could be something going on here uh, in, in next week and um, this would be in your future position. See the high priestess in reverse is not listening to her intuition and she's uh, going against what her her inner voice is telling her. Um, now this can also represent a, a secret coming to light and with the tower in reverse is saying this is something that is, is really uh, you need to shake things up um, because it's saying, uh-oh, there's a little problem here with the foundation of our situation here, of a relationship or of a situation in our life. Now, I'm thinking here, this could actually be, now, I, for some of you, it could be an affair, uh, some kind of physical affair going on. But if it's not that, then I'm seeing... Go out. Leave. Go on. No. Out. Sorry about that. Uh, as I was saying, the, the high priestess in reverse is someone who is not listening to her intuition and coming up with these cards, it could be, um, there could be some information here coming to light regarding a, a, a toxic relationship or some kind of addiction. Um, also, regarding the high priestess in reverse, this is someone who can um, uses her sexuality to attract men. And it can also be someone who is just interested in like one night stands. They aren't, uh, they aren't portraying themselves in a very secretive way. They're kind of just out there. Um, But it's saying, you're not listening to your intuition. There's some kind of negative behavior going on here that you've really got to stop doing. It's like a repetitive behavior. It's a addictive thing. Um, and it, it's getting to, it's, it's, it's becoming like very problematic for you with the tower in reverse. Um, And then we have the Four of Cups in reverse, which is like restlessness, looking for a sign, uh, needing to withdraw really badly from an emotional situation. Okay. Um, and then your outcome is this, this higher font in reverse. Some of you are in a friends with benefits situation with someone 
and there isn't a, a, a real, it's not a conventional relationship, right? We have the here fun in reverse. Um, this is like an unethical teacher or someone who, who uh, rebels against what society tells them, like an anti-conformist. Okay, so um, anti-establishment, um, anti-commitment, uh, a rebel, someone who um, has a, a, a different belief system than maybe what society tells them to do. Um, okay, well I like this card better in reverse. Most of the time it just speaks to not having a conventional relationship or a conventional agreement. But again, I feel like um, some of you are getting out of, of a situation here that's just not been good and, and you really do need to listen to your intuition this month. Um, the tower saying shake things up, do things differently. Um, something hasn't been working for you and I think that uh, some of you feel like you've withdrawn a lot and it's time it's time for you to come back emotionally and reintegrate the lessons that you've learned. There's some restlessness going on here. Okay. It, it could also be that um, the place where you're employed, for example, your employer here, the Hierophant in reverse, uh, they may be an establishment that is um, corrupt in some way. For example, their rules and regulations, their belief system is something very, up, is very out of the norm. Okay. But the, the main word here is unconventional, unconventional. Uh, and anti-establishment, all right? So um, that's why I say I feel like some of you are involved in some kind of friends with benefits thing here, and I don't know, it doesn't feel too healthy. So let's, let's go ahead and move on here. Also, the, the here fun reverse can also indicate uh, a breakup or the end of a marriage, divorce. I'm not saying that you're actually getting divorced this month, but perhaps you're separating from someone that has uh, been very toxic for you. Could be a soulmate. I'm just looking because we have the lovers at the bottom of the deck. And that can indicate a very big decision as well. All right, Spirit, do you have a message for Gemini? Please help guide them. This turned out to be a longer reading than I thought. The resting tree, patience, stillness. So this resonates with the hangman, in my opinion, very much. The resting tree is a sign for you to stop focusing and planning and be at peace in the moment. This is the representative of non-action and relaxation. Patience is the key to being with this ally. The resting tree asks you to slow down, sit back and watch the roses bloom and the birds feed in the meadow. 
This isn't the time to forge ahead in any way. You may not be taking enough breaks, so you're invited to be still and contemplate your good fortune, even if it means blessing the chaos in your life. This is a sign to allow everything to fall away except the stillness of the moment. It's like living within the space between breaths. When the resting tree appears, it signals that you've done all you can for now, and it's time to unwind and allow your story to unfold of its own accord. You've earned the right to rest and relax. Amazing ideas will come if you do. Remember the ancient saying, we do without doing and everything gets done. Challenger. The resting tree appearing as a challenger asks you to consider if you're so frenetic that all you can think about is how stressed you are. Running around and overdoing anything only makes you into a human doing, not a human being. This is a sign to be careful or you may become physically ill, or at the very least unable to enjoy your life. Be still. It's time to meditate and take time out or you'll make some mistakes that you may regret later. Don't worry, all those things you're trying to manage will still be there when you're ready to move forward again. Only then will you have a clearer head with which to think. Interesting. Well, Gemini, there's some food for thought for you. Take it with a grain of salt. And uh, do take plenty of time out for yourself this month. Do rest. Um, I see a woman here lying under a tree. Trees give off uh, actually positive, what is it, negative ions? Negative ions. And actually there are so many negative ions when you go out into nature, like the countryside, for example. I was reading somewhere... Uh, because I have this Himalayan crystal that I just got. These Himalayan crystals are great. Um, and uh, when you go out into nature, you are surrounded by a lot of negative ions. Um, there are a lot of benefits to having those. Uh, some of them are increasing uh, your serotonin levels, uh, making you calm. It says here, actually, See, I'm reading a little pamphlet that comes with my crystal. Um, and it says, in fresh country air, it is common to find up to 4,000 negative ions per cubic centimeter. Centimeter. By contrast, it is common to find that the number of negative ions in major cities at rush hour is less than 100. Less than 100. So, why are negative ions important? Um, there's like a complicated formula here for why, but I think that the, um, the important thing to remember is that, uh, see she has candles lit here and this is a break. A break is needed for you, Gemini. Because I think that you've been through a lot emotionally. You've been through a lot mentally. And um, I think you are hitting a, a wall. Okay. When you rest, Things will come to you. Your mind will start to settle. The sand will start to sift down and things will start to go back into place. When you wake up, you're going to have a fresher mind. So um, do make some time for yourself to rest and meditate. Practicing patience and stillness is kind of a Buddhist philosophy, really. But I find so much peace in this image, really. I keep thinking of this as like a snake, similar to the snake here. 
and that's kind of like your kundalini energy and uh, giving your giving your uh, self a chance to recharge um, if you can take a retreat out in nature and make sure you get plenty of rest this month it will be necessary for you going into to June for your solar return I hope you've enjoyed this reading and thank you so much for joining me many blessings